Hello again, model railroad enthusiasts. Bob Wilkins here, this time with a modification of a previous project for installing a reversing relay board for automatic back and forth operation of a train. If you've ever wanted a train to, or trolley to go from point A to point B, stop, pause and return to the starting point, then repeat the process automatically, then keep watching. This operation can be completed with a new inexpensive automatic reversing relay board. In this point-to-point -point type layout, two diodes are set at both ends of the track and the locomotive or trolley is powered by variable DC current coming from the train controller via the relay board. When the train crosses the insulated end track, it stops after a slight pause, which can be varied from a few seconds to several minutes, the relay activates to reverse the current flow. The train or trolley proceeds to the opposite end. The sequence repeats automatically until the controller is turned off. This system only works for direct current DC operation However, if you are running Digital Command Control DCC operation, it can be set up on an isolated track and run separately in DC mode. This system can be used for several scales including N, HO, S or O. Here I am using it in HO scale. The components needed for this project include the track for the point-to-point -point layout along with the auto-reversing relay board. Insulated joiners, two diodes, connection wires, plus a 9 volt power source are also needed. The relay board can be powered by either a 9 volt battery pack with a switch or a 9 volt DC power source with a switch inserted. Here I am using the 9 volt power pack with a switch included. The red wire lead is the positive and the black wire lead the negative. A 12 volt train transformer controller with variable DC voltage is also needed to power the train. These train controller transformer units are common as they were used on older train sets from Tyco, Lifelike, Backman or are available from Model Rectifier Corporation. They can be found on eBay or sold at train shows generally for around five to ten dollars. The train movement is automatically controlled by the reversing relay board. This relay board consists of two banks of connection plugs. One to power the board from the battery with the positive wire going to the connector labelled VIN and the negative lead going to the ground connector labelled GND. Another set of connection plugs labelled P plus and P minus attached to the train controller's variable DC source. The final set labelled M plus and M minus attaches to wires that go to the track to drive the locomotive electric motor. The relay board contains the relay switch, a double pole, double throw switch that alternates power to the track for the back and forth movement of the locomotive. Two LEDs labeled D1 and D2 will illuminate on and off during the relay operation. These LEDs are also used in programming the relay board's time delay. A timer chip regulates the duration of the relay cycle. And finally, a keypad push switch is used to program the timer chip. In our case, the relay off time, when the D2 is not lit, will represent the forward motion of the train plus the pause time, and the on time, when the D2 LED is lit, will represent the reverse motion of the train and its pause time at the other end. How to program this timer chip will be explained shortly. When the relay is turned on, the D1 LED blinks three times and the relay begins to cycle on and off 
as indicated by the D2 LED going on and off. This is called the working mode of the relay board. First, let's design the point-to-point -point layout. There are many options for layouts, including simple straight or curved back and forth layouts, to crossover layouts or even ones involving switches. At the ends of each layout, a section of track will be isolated to stop the train or trolley. Diodes are used here to control current flow at these ends as the relay changes the current direction. Once the layout is built, install the two diodes near the track ends. Determine the length of track that you will need for the locomotive or trolley to stop at each end. Install the insulated rail joiners at the joint where the pickup wheels of the engine cross. Now solder the two diodes across the insulated track on the outer side of the track. It is very important that both diodes face in the same direction. The grey band around the diode indicates the cathode negative side. Use this as a guide to set the diodes in the correct direction. The diodes only allow current to flow in one direction. The wiring setup for the train controller and relay board is illustrated here. Here the green wires from the train transformer controller are attached to the relay board's peak connectors. You may need to determine the positive output terminal on the controller using a voltmeter or just trial and error. The blue wires from the relay board's end plugs connect to the track terminals. Note that the positive wire goes to the track containing the diodes. The relay board has two modes of operation, working mode and setup mode. As mentioned, when the power is switched on, the board enters the working mode. The LED number two goes on and off as the relay cycles. Here, the on and off times are around 4 seconds. We will change these times to around 10 seconds to represent both the travel time plus the pause time in both directions. You enter the setup mode by pressing the key for 2 seconds till D1 lights. Initially, D2 will be off, so you will be programming the off time. Now press the key twice, D1 will go out, press the t key again and D1 will start flashing. Allow the flashing to occur for 10 seconds. Now press the key again to stop the flashing. This will record the off time onto the chip. D1 will now remain on for up to 10 seconds to allow you to program the on time by pressing the key again for 2 seconds, till D2 lights. When D2 is lit, press the key twice and D1 will go off. Press the key again and D1 will again flash continuously. D2 will remain lit. Allow D1 to flash for 10 seconds, then press the key to stop and record the on time. Either wait for the board to reset or simply repower the board to enter the working mode, cycling the new relay times. Note that in setup mode, if you do not press a key within 10 seconds, the board will reset to the working mode. The system is ready for testing. Place the locomotive on the track, the front facing to the right, at a spot near the power terminals. Turn the controller on. The locomotive should move forward. If it moves backward, reverse the connections of the two blue wires from the track to the board. When the unit passes over the insulated connections, it will stop, pause, Change direction and move backwards to the other point. Pause again and then return. To control the delay may require reprogramming of the relay timing. Here the operation is shown in sequence 
using a trolley. The trolley travels to the point on the right and stops for approximately 5 seconds before the relay activates to send the car back to the other end. The connections to the track and train controller are also shown. Note that I have added lighted bumpers to this system using bumpers prepared as per Project 15. These bumpers have a wire soldered to the LED connection on the side with the diode. The wire is connected to the track just beyond the insulator so that the LED always has current. If you wish to try this project, you can order this kit online at the website modeltrainsounds.com. The kit includes an auto-reversing relay board, the 9-volt battery pack, two N1007 diodes, and two track insulators for HO scale, along with full instructions. Instructions in color are also available in download a PDF file format at the website. Thanks again for watching. We are working hard on more projects, so don't forget to subscribe for updates.